Hi and welcome back to Old School Blues Guitar. We are getting ready to dissect the style of Elmore James, a slide guitar. Before we get into this more, just to tell you, I'm no expert on this stuff. This is just what I've figured out, at least what I think I've figured out, listening to the recordings, talking to other people, and you know, seeing people perform this kind of stuff live. As you get into this, you need a slide. And I've got this big old wine bottle slide that I use for uh, playing on my acoustic. And I don't even know what kind of slide Elmore James used. I have a book that's got, a, got some information about him in it. You can use any kind of slide that works for you and gets the kind of sound that you want. So I've got this glass bottle one that I like. It's from the top of a wine bottle. A friend of mine actually made it for me. You can find them like this at Guitar Center and places like that, but generally they're not as thick. This one's like really thick. I really like this one. Next thing is when you play the slide, if you've never done this before, you know, I suggest taking some beginning slide lessons somewhere on YouTube or just getting into it. But when you play an open D, most of what you're going to play is going to be right around the 12th fret. And in open D tuning, if we take our slide and just put it right across the 12th fret, that's a D. If you get it. And a lot of times you'll hear Elmore James like end a song or start off a song kind of like this. Slide from one fret below into that. So when you play slide, the notes that you can play, 12th fret of the first string, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th mostly. You can play the 6th, but generally when you're using the slide, you're not going to go any further than the 5th. And what you've got to be able to do is take the slide and set it gently on the string and at the same time use your wrist and get some vibrato into it. Good way to practice this if you're just getting into this is practice sliding into notes maybe from the 10th to the 12th fret. And so if you're really just beginning you might want to go back and, and get into slide a little bit first. Now if you play a little bit, little bit of the slide and you want to get into some Elmore stuff, that's what this lesson is for, to try to show you, you know, some things, what I've figured out. So, first thing is where you play. Mostly you're going to play between the 10th and the 12th frets. Sometimes you're going to go here, which would be 12, 13, 14, 15, about the 16th fret, 15th or 16th fret. And as far as picking goes, again, I'm using a flat pick. I'm not sure what Elmore James used. And I've got a flat pick that's kind of thin. I think it sounds better when I use a really thick thumb pick, get a thicker, louder sound. But for now, I'm just going to use the flat pick. So anyway, we've got most of our licks are going to be right around here. And so what I want to do here with the rest of these, these lessons is show you, you know, some of the stuff that Elmore James did. And if you listen to it and practice it and then listen to his recordings, you can figure out whatever you want to figure out and find out what you can do in, in this position right here. Welcome back to Old School Blues Guitar, and we're going through the style of Elmore James for this month's Classic Licks Lessons. And I'm going to pick out, in total, about 15, 20 different ideas that I've figured out from Elmore James's playing to share with you. Again, we're in open D tuning. So my guitar is tuned to an open D. I do not have an electric that I use for slide, not yet, and I don't have an acoustic with the pickup. So I'm just using my acoustic guitar here to show you the Elmore ideas. First thing we're going to learn is you know, the basic Elmore lick, and there's lots of people that teach this, and I'll show you my version of it. And there's some variations. I'm going to go through and show you three or four different variations on this lick, but something like this. That kind of lick, where I'm putting the, the slide, I'm sliding into it from maybe the 10th fret. And then I'm picking with my right hand. I'm keeping the slide on the 12th fret, on the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, even a little bit of the 4th strings. And just right hand picking that da 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 Up and down strokes all the way. And you can put a little bit of vibrato in there. 
if you put too much, it doesn't sound good. If you don't put any, it doesn't sound good. You know, you just gotta mess around with it and find the right amount of vibrato here. So if I just play this, that's not what Elmore played. He's shaking that thing. And once I play that, what I'm doing is sliding from the third, tenth fret of the third string to the twelfth fret, one pick, and then I'm picking the twelfth fret of the fourth string. Now this, that's a little lick you hear a lot of guys play, but there's some variations on that that we'll talk about. So the first one. And again, Elmore's not doing both. He's not quickly going back and forth between rhythm and lead. He's got a rhythm guitar player, at least as far as I know on most of his recordings. Now another variation of this is if you ever hear the original version, maybe the original, the first version, the early version of Dust My Broom, where he plays something a little bit different. He does this. A little different. And all I'm doing there is I'm doing that same slide into the 12th fret. And then I'm going to move it to the 10th fret. Then I'm going to get the 12th fret of the 3rd string and kind of slide it down. Something like that. So let me play it again. And that's another variation on that. I've got these tabbed out for you. And this is the lick he uses so often when he's playing. Another one is um, from a tune called uh, Standing at the Cross. I guess this first one was from Standing at the Cross. Let's take a time out here. on this is doing something like this. And I'm just doing three slides from the 10th to the 12th fret on the 3rd string, getting a little bit of the 2nd string in there too, and then getting the 12th fret of the 4th of the string. So that basic Elmore lick is done right there at the 12th fret. Got vibrato going, and you can do different things. If you listen to his recordings, Standing at the Crossroads is one that I think of. Hot Little Mama, or Fine Little Mama, is one of my favorite Elmore James songs. All of these have different variations on, on this lick, and any variation he does is done within those you know, three or four strings right there. So that's the next Elmore James idea, the, the famous Elmore James lick. Now we're going to get into some of the, the ideas that I don't see many people talking about or teaching. And when he plays his solos and when he plays fills, you know, what are some of the cool things that he's doing. Okay, now it's time for the next Elmore James idea. A real simple phrase that he used in a lot of his solos and even to kick off songs. And there's a song called Fine Little Mama in Open D where he starts it off with a lick like this. Sounds more like he's just getting one string. And this is the foundation of a lot of his licks. And so what I'm doing is starting on the second string. And I'm sliding from the 10th to the 12th fret. Another important slide idea, and I'll just kind of throw these in along the way, is your fingers behind the slide. I put my finger on the, or the slide on my pinky, so I have my other fingers free to make chords and things like that. But they want to be resting gently on the strings behind the slide. And that gives you a lot more control. You can't do it too much, though, or else you'll mute the strings. But that's just another kind of a basic slide idea to keep in mind. So this little lick here. So he's sliding 10, 12 on the second string. And then getting the 12th fret of the first string with the vibrato. Now that lick, he'll do things like this. You know, just play it once. And he'll also use that lick repetitively, like this. That is a really cool idea. So I'm just taking that same and I'm playing it over and over again quickly. And I'm going.
going into that. Lick again. So there's another Elmore James idea, and that's a good one to get started on, just trying to get the, get the right sound and control the slide and all that stuff. The next idea comes from a tune called Something Inside Me, which is one of the great Elmore James slide tunes. And this is another basic lick that you hear him use all the time. It goes like this. One more time. And what I'm doing is sliding from the 10th to the 12th on the 3rd string. And then I'm picking the 2nd string and the 1st string with my slide over the 12th fret. And he does that lick a lot to begin a phrase or to kick off a solo or you know, in all kinds of different ways. So again, sliding on the 3rd string. Something like that. He might play more than one string in there at the same time. But that is a classic Elmore James lick. So, so far we've got this one, and then we're throwing in the third string, and we've got those two. So we're just getting started building what you call a vocabulary of Elmore James licks. And the trick is to take all these licks and then string them together in a way that, that sounds, you know, doesn't sound scripted or it doesn't sound forced, it sounds natural. Next lick is another one that is common and, and that shows one of the ideas that's an important part of Elmore James' is playing. It kind of goes like this. One more time. What I'm doing this time is sliding the other way. 12, 10. On the 12, first string, second string. Then I'm sliding. This time I'm going 12th fret, 5th, 4th string, and 12th fret, 5th string. And he does that a lot. If you listen to a lot of his licks, they'll end up on this note, 12th fret of the 5th string. So this is kind of a, a basic version of an idea that Elmore James uses quite a bit. So you pick, slide, and then slide back up. Then the 4th and 5th strings at the 5th, 12th fret. Like that. So we're getting there. We've got that. We've got... We've got... And practicing these licks, you should start seeing what you can do in that little area. Those, that 3 fret zone of the guitar. You know, so much cool stuff you can, you can do there. Our next Elmore James lick is kind of a wilder one. And this is one of my favorites. And it goes like this. And here's another variation on these, you know, basically four notes. I'm sliding in, 10th to 12th fret on the second string. And then what I'm doing is picking 12 and 10. I'm using the pick. I'm not just picking and sliding, but it's kind of this, what do you call it, percussive picking style. And if you listen to Elmore James's stuff, you know, he does that quite a bit. So I'm going 12, 10 on the first string to the 12th fret of the second string over and over again. And then you can wind that up however you want. So in addition to this, we've got so just different ways of playing the same really four notes in that little area. So there's another Elmore James lick for you. Another idea that you hear him use quite a bit is to slide beyond the 12th fret. And in several of his songs, you know, he won't just stay in this 12th to 10th fret area. He'll move all the way to the 15th fret of the first string. And sometimes he'll do this picking thing where he'll pick the 15th fret and then come back into that, that position at the 12th fret. So that little lick right there is the one I have tabbed out for you. So I'm picking and kind of pulling off, and then going to the 12th fret of the first string. So it's 15th fret, 12th fret, and then sliding into it. I think from the 11th this time, I'm not going all the way to the 10th. I call that a short slide. Sometimes he does the long two fret slide. Sometimes it sounds like he slides just from the 11th to the 12th.
from the third string to the fourth string. Another thing he does is sometimes he'll be playing and he'll go to that and he can slide back into the twelfth fret or do some There's one song, um, oh I can't remember, it's not It Hurts Me Too, Something Inside Me or, or One of Those or My Baby Left Me, I can't remember the name of it, but he does like almost a playing the two strings, first and second string, going 16th, 15th, 14th, or, or maybe just playing the one string, it's something really neat. So he doesn't always just confine himself to that little area, he can also go there. Now to do that, if you, it depends on the guitar you use, I have to angle my slide and really dampen the strings with my fingers to avoid that from ringing out the wrong way. So that's something that takes a while to practice to get the touch on that. But again, that's an idea. He won't just stay there sometimes. You know, he'll do that. So there's another Elmore James lick. Another idea from Elmore James is playing is playing not so much on the first and second strings, but moving the slide or actually just taking his pick and moving it to the second and third string. And there's lots of licks he does in that area. One of his most famous tunes is his version of Every Day I Have the Blues, and he does something like this. So that little lick here, so sliding on the second and third strings from the 10th to the 12th and then wrapping up on the 12th fret. So you got this, then you've got second and third strings right there. That other little lick I did, playing on the second string to lead into a phrase. So I'm going 12th fret, sliding it, and then sliding back the other way. And you hear Elmore James use that second string. He'll do something like this. So just going 12 to 10 on the second string and then, and then wrapping up with that second and, second and third lick. Also along those same lines, sometimes he'll do these little kind of fills stabs. And when he does that, it sounds to me a lot of times like he's just picking the second and third strings. Starts at the 12th fret, picks it, and then slides it down. Something like that. So this position here, playing the second and third strings, is just as important, I think, for his style as playing the first and second strings. So there's another idea to to work around with. So we got a lot of stuff and when I get done here with the lesson I'll review all these licks I've shown you and this should be more than enough to get you started playing some, some Elmore stuff. One more Elmore James idea as we get going here is the, the, the slides, pick and, and slide. He does this a lot and there's several songs where he, he does this as part of a solo or even as a, a fill and all I'm doing is picking and sliding down and from the 12th fret each time. Something like that. And in some songs, he'll do it on three strings. And come back to the 12th fret of the, of the fourth string. Or even come back with that slide right there. And some of the coolest stuff Elmore does are these kind of oddball slides that he does. And he does one on the bass strings, too, in some of his songs, especially his slower songs, like This Guy Is Crying and, and others. He'll do this bass thing. Something like that. And he, sometimes he starts from the 12th fret. Sometimes he'll go down as far as the 15th fret. And that's another kind of crazy Elmore thing that I hear him doing. So there's another idea, picking the string and sliding it down. You hear him do that quite a bit. Another Elmore idea is playing a chord with the slide. And I mentioned this earlier when I was talking about this 12th fret. And so 
If you're going to play a chord with the slide, Elmore will just sometimes just slowly slide into the E. Something like that. And he does that to begin a song or usually to end a song. Another little lick he does in some of his slower things is he does that, but then he picks it really fast, like this. Which is a really cool idea. It's kind of an E7 or D7 type chord idea. So I'm just keeping the slide on there, using a little bit of vibrato, but most of this is in the right hand. And then when he goes over the 4 and 5, let's just use the 5, because I think you can see that here. You know, sometimes he'll play a chord. Just using the slide. So at the 5th fret, that's your, your G chord. The 7th fret is your A chord, A 7th chord. So this idea of using your, your slide and just, you know, barring off a whole fret and playing, you know, a chord. And Elmore would throw those in every now and then, not too much, but if you listen, again, The Sky is Crying is one that I think of where he uses those licks a lot. Something Inside of Me, there's one My Baby's Gone, I think is one that he does that too. So there's yet another Elmore James idea. The last idea that I'm going to throw at you is when he's playing around in this blues box, whatever you want to call this, between the 12th and the 10th frets, there's a lot of fancy pick work going on, and some of the let me just kind of play an Elmore type thing and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So something like that. And instead of just going, sometimes he'll stay on the same string. And sometimes he'll do that on more than one string. mess around. So when I think of Elmore, I think of two kinds of things. I think of sliding into a note, and I think of him picking, doing that kind of picking at the same time. So before we wrap it up here, let me just show you all the stuff we've gone through, at least down here at the 12th fret. We've got the basic Elmore lick that he uses so often. there to show you where that fits in. You got a couple variations of that. And then in that, we'll call it the slide blues box in open D, you've got simple licks. And that little lick he uses in so many different ways. Sometimes he'll play it faster. Something along those lines. Then you've got licks like uh, this one that he uses a lot. Sliding from the 10th to the 12th and then getting the 2nd and 1st strings. You've got all kinds of variation. Playing one string, multiple strings, all in that same area. And then you've got the idea where you can go to that 15th fret on the 1st string sometimes and then come back to the, to the main position. So if you listen to most of Elmore James's stuff, He's playing an open D, or something pretty close to it, and he's playing with the slide in that little area there. And those licks that I showed you here in this lesson are just a few of the real, you know, basic Elmore James type stuff. Maybe later we'll come back to him when I've learned some more and can play more, and we'll get into some of the fancier stuff. But if you want to start playing Elmore James style, I think what I've covered here is more than enough to get you, to get you going. Hope you enjoy these lessons. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. And be sure to check out my Udemy lessons that I have for sale now. Traditional Blues Guitar for Beginners, Part 1, Rhythm Guitar, and Part 2, which covers lead playing. Some of the same ideas that I have on my free site, but a lot, a lot more specific stuff, and I think you'll like it. See you later.